Second celebration of success, Ms. Mumgard. Um, could I have David Keene and his better half, Brian Cipherlein, at the podium, please? <laughs> just so delighted to be able to do this. As you know my past life, I am a documentary filmmaker, and I've actually had the pleasure of working with this guy, and this guy came in at the very end, and um, really being able to do some really, it's just, he's, they're just so fun to work with. Um, you also know that one of my, my top strengths in the Gallup thing is empathy which makes me a good storyteller, but it makes it very hard to be a board member. I'm going to put that out there. Um, <laughs> but um, the fact that these two guys get work together, when Brian called to tell me that he got hired here, I, I think I screamed on the phone, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. And I was just so excited because I knew what we were getting was excellent storytellers, and it is through storytelling that we can best let the world know what it is that happens here at the Lincoln Public Schools. And um, because we don't just teach the mind, we also teach the heart. And these guys have done a fantastic job with that. Um, but they got chosen for one thing in particular. And um, the other thing I'd like to say is that um, winning in a regional MA is not an easy thing to do. And um, <laughs> so it takes a lot of skill. And I've actually had the pleasure of sitting on the other side of watching documentaries that were up for an award and having to choose which ones to give an award to. And so I know that the, what the competition they're up against was fairly stiff, very stiff. And so I'm, I'm just very pleased that they work with us to help tell our story about, uh, that everyone's story here in the city about what a great place we have. And, um, and that we just saw a little bit of it, that it, I'm sure if we watch it tomorrow, bring your Kleenexes, I'm pretty sure, right? Bring your Kleenexes? Yeah, it looks like it, yes. And popcorn. And popcorn. <laughs> so um, on that very large, long entrance, I'd like to put this forward as a motion, that whereas David Keene and Brian Seiferlein are multimedia and broadcast technicians in the Lincoln Public Schools Library Services Department, and recently won the Regional Emmy Award in the category of Education Schools Long Form Content, from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Heartland Chapter, and whereas David Keene and Brian Seiferlein have created a video series titled The Seat Beside You to help share the stories of the students and staff of Lincoln Public Schools, and whereas David Keene and Brian Seiferlein use their creativity, knowledge, experience, and passion to further the mission of Lincoln Public Schools in serving all students and families, and whereas David Keene and Brian Seiferlein highly respected and valued by their colleagues, not only at Lincoln Public Schools, but across the state of Nebraska and the nation. Now therefore be it resolved that the Lincoln Board of Education does hereby congratulate David Keene and Brian Seiferlein for winning the Re Regional Emmy Award in the category of Education Schools Long Form Content from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Heartland Chapter, signed Lanny Boswell, President, and Dr. Paul Gosman, superintendent of schools. Thank you. <laughs> There's two of them. Thank you very much. Um, it's really cool to get honored for some of the work that you do, but I just want to take a moment to um, thank federal programs that brings us these stories they're brave enough to share them and then the families are brave enough to share them with us um, and it you know it, it really is a group effort um, I know for some of this sometimes a couple of individuals get the get the credit but um, I do want to recognize dr. Chris Hefner is here and um, this is part of her vision as well big time and um, just want to recognize Oscar Poirier and um, everybody in federal programs, including Marta, who had a huge role in this. She is a co-producer of this video. Um, and I also want to thank Pete Ferguson, who um, he's bringing us ideas nonstop. He's in our office all the time to giving us ideas. So just want to recognize some of those people. Thanks.
Um, yeah, there's there's just so many people to thank for this. It's it's when you earn an Emmy or when you earn an award like that, there's this feeling of like, man, there's just so many people who have helped create this and make it. There's one and one person I'd like to uh, thank. Her name is uh, Melody Kenny, and some people in this building might remember Melody uh, from working in this building in Library of Services. But I remember her as a member of Southwest when I was a high school student there. And when I was a student at Southwest, I would always spend most of my time in the library. And I would research one of my favorite topics, filmmaking. And Melody, one day she noticed, uh, you know, I wasn't going to lunch, I was going to the library instead and researching filmmaking. And she decided to give me a task. She said, I'm gonna have you go make a video about Southwest and the new building that was created and the staff that are here. So throughout the year, I interviewed people and I worked away, and it was so, I was like, this is incredible. This is gonna earn an Emmy. Right? <laughs> this, is, this is it. And what I ended up creating was uh, a heaping pile of rubbish. It was very, very bad. I, I made every single mistake a first filmmaker could possibly make. But the thing that happened was um, I was fueled by that experience and I went on to college. I learned filmmaking in college. I got a degree. I worked at multiple television markets and eventually went to Nebraska Public Television where I got to work with some of the best cinematographers and audio engineers and producers in the state. And now I'm full circle back to the place where it all began. Um, and so I would hope that somebody could maybe let Melody know <laughs> I, I maybe made it right again and, and we got that Emmy together. And I say we because it really was we. It was all the people that came before me. It's the people that we work with today. Um, some other people I want to thank um, and not forget Marta Bocher, who did an incredible job working with us. She's a bilingual liaison um, who was also a journalist in Colombia. And with her expertise, um, this film, The World of Elizabeth, was made possible. Um, all the bilingual liaisons that work in federal programs are just incredible to work with. Um, Dr. Chris Hefner, thank you so much. You give us freedom and flexibility to do what we do, and your trust inspires us, and you always respect the vision that we bring to the table. Um, some other individuals, were, uh, Pete Ferguson, again, like I want to say Pete again because he's just always in our office. Sometimes we're like, Pete, okay, uh, we got to get work done now, man. Uh, but also, um, his equity cadre has done an incredible job uh, supporting us, and they're actually in a lot of the Seat Beside You videos that we've already created. That's why we're wearing their t-shirts tonight in support of what they do. Um, my wife, Tricia, I want to give her a huge thanks. She's here in the audience tonight with my daughter. Um, I'm going to tell you a quick story about Tricia that's really, really cool. Uh, when we were filming the, uh, the World of Elizabeth, uh, one of the film days was Thanksgiving Day, and it was uh, Elizabeth's birthday. And so we went to uh, their house, and you see a little snip of it uh, at the very end of the film. And um, it was incredible. Oscar was there, Marta was there. It was this just huge party and celebration, sort of a capstone of the end of the video, but also Elizabeth is having her birthday. And we get in the car afterwards, and Trisha says to me, how does she have play dates with, uh, with Elizabeth? They don't speak English at all. That's gotta be really hard. So Trisha started inviting them over to our house and they started developing a relationship together. And to this day, we're friends. Ellie still plays with Elizabeth and uh, Trisha is continuing to try to help Ilda with her English to get her going and better um, assimilated into our, our culture here in America. Um, and then the other person is, of course, my daughter, Ellie. Um, Ellie, I get to tell a lot of stories about other students, but you truly are the most special story I've ever gotten to witness, and I can't wait to see how your story unfolds. And someday when you're a parent, you're gonna get to see what I mean by that. I can't wait for that as well. There's something really cool sp and special about Ellie today. It is her birthday. She's turning 10, <laughs> and she, uh, <laughs> she said, Dad, I, I wanna come and support you, but you, need to, you need, to make, need to make one thing very clear. You need to make sure everybody knows it's my birthday, so <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go have some cake and ice cream after this. So thank you very much. Thank you.
Is there a second? Mrs. Danik. I would second that motion. Any discussion? Seeing none, Laura, would you please call the roll? Mrs. Danik. Yes. Yes. Ms. Melkart. Yes. yes. Dr. Browner. Yes. Mr. Shrivastav. Yes. Ms. Byer. Yes. Mr. Boswell. Yes. Our next 